Are you losing power due to a boost leak? Today I'm going to show you how to use our boost leak pressure tester on your truck. Today we're going to do a video on a 2009 Volvo with a D13 engine. We're going to use our 4 inch diameter turbo leak pressure tester and we also offer a 5 inch diameter turbo leak pressure tester. So let's get started. Let's begin by opening the hood. Using a 10 mm socket, remove the ambient temperature harness clamp. Locate the ambient temperature sensor, slide the red locking tab and disconnect the connector. Using an 8 mm socket, remove the turbo inlet hose clamp. Using an 8 mm socket, remove the air compressor intake hose clamp. Using a 14 mm socket, remove the two air filter housing bolts located on top of the housing. Wiggle and pull up the air filter box. Using a 10 mm socket, remove the turbo inlet hose clamp. Using an 8 mm socket, remove the discharge valve hose clamp. Install the pressure tester onto the turbo inlet housing. Make sure you have enough room to install the shop air hose over the shutoff valve on the tester. On some engines, you might have to use the original turbo inlet hose clamp to clamp down the boost leak pressure tester as we did in this video. Using a 10 mm socket, tighten the boost pressure tester hose clamp. Make sure you close the valve before you connect the air hose. Connect the air hose. Slowly open the valve to apply compressed air through the system. Regulate the air pressure to about 10 to 15 psi. Using soapy water, spray down the intercooler all charge pipes, hoses, clamps, and plugs that are under boost pressure. When you see bubbles getting bigger, you have a boost leak. As you can see here, we have a large leak at the turbo charge pipe hose clamp area. Before removing the air hose, make sure the valve is closed. Disconnect the air hose. Slowly open the valve to release any pressure that's still in the system. Now will be a good time to fix all your boost leaks. After you fix the boost leaks, you can apply compressed air once again and repeat the process to recheck for any leaks. Remove the tester hose clamp. Remove the boost pressure tester. Install the turbo inlet hose. Tighten the turbo inlet hose clamp. Tighten the discharge hose clamp. Install the air filter box. Tighten the air cleaner housing bolts. Tighten the air compressor intake hose clamp. Tighten the air filter housing hose clamp.
Plug in the ambient temperature sensor and lock the red tab. Tighten the ambient temperature sensor harness clamp. Close the hood and you're ready to haul boost leak free. That's it for our test. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on Facebook. Visit our website otrperformance.com for more information. Till next time, keep hauling.